Hi, I'm Cami with Brooke. We're going to talk about self-care. It's very important to get self-care, especially right now. Self-care for you could look different from others in your family and others around your neighborhood even. It doesn't have to be broken up into one hour increments. It could be broken into 10 to 15 minute increments throughout the day, as long as you're prioritizing it and you're making time for it. Some activities of self-care include things like maybe reading your favorite book, taking some time to read a new book or a favorite book. It could even be doing things like journaling, expressing your gratitude for the things in your life or just journaling about the day or journaling about your emotions and your feelings. It could even be just an adult coloring book <laughs> or doing a different type of, or doing a, a hobby that you enjoy. Um, you know, see, self-care could be a lot of different things. And like I said, it's important to prioritize it, especially during this time. Some ways to prioritize self-care might be actually scheduling it into your schedule, writing it into your calendar or, or you know, making a calendar invite for yourself on your phone or your computer. That way you know that's when you scheduled that and that's when you set up time to do that activity or that, that self-care activity during the day. You could also set a routine around it or start to set a routine. The scheduling aspect will help to set that routine. Or you can enlist help from your friends and family and your loved ones. Even your coworkers could help you with that. They could help with reminding you and keeping you accountable. Placing a sticky note on an area where you have high traffic. It could be your computer or um, somewhere in your home that you see often or your nightstand before you go to bed to make sure that you've done that self-care activity for the day. What self-care does and what it can enable you to do is it allows you to de-stress and manage your stress, but then also take a mental break and a, and a physical and emotional break for you so that you're resetting yourself and you're just feeling like you've gotten to take some time for yourself throughout the day. So, what are some ways that you might do some self-care for yourself today? Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.